Hello everyone, welcome back to My Candid World and in today's video I'm going to be talking about why I won't be shopping with Emmy Oil again. So to start off, I shopped with Emule sometime around last year and after I received my order, there were two different items that just didn't fit me. Uh, I think both of them didn't fit me. It was a pair of pants and an ear cuff. They just did not fit me. And I was like, okay, you know, I kind of liked the other stuff. Some of the, some of the items that I would got weren't really the best quality. Like some of the shirts were a bit see-through, like the fabric wasn't that good, but I was like, you know, it's just this brand off Instagram that I saw some of their stuff and I was like, I want to give them a shot, see if they're good. And unfortunately, that experience did not go the best for me. I want to start with the fact that they had terrible customer service. Um, a lot of the responses were delayed. It was just very unprofessional. It felt like I was talking with someone who had attitude. And the only way that you could reach customer service was through an email for returns. So just checking out my like notes here they were also just horribly un unaccommodating like it was just really bad that they just would not try to help me in any way shape or form i emailed them on august 21st of 2022 asking to return the pair of pants that were too big and the earring cuff that was also too big and the cuff only had one size so i didn't really have any way of adjusting it or finding a one that could fit my ears and they emailed back three days later on the 24th asking for the reason that i wanted to return the items and then I emailed them back that same day with the reasons why, as well as like they asked for like the SCU or something, SKU number for the items. And I was like, I gave you my order number, like you should already know what this stuff is by now, but whatever. And then they emailed back on the 26th saying that the return shipping charge for those two items is over 25 to 35 US dollars. And I was like, I'm returning a pant and a cup how is the return shipping charge 25 to 35 dollars and they claim that they're based in the uk but even if you're based in the uk i don't see how the shipping charge could be that bad unless i'm i bought a large or unless i'm returning a large quantity of clothing like i had bought clothes previously from the uk and this is one thing that i sort of noticed a lot of these so-called instagram like clothing brands claim that they're based in the uk however the bank account charge that i got from this company said that it was based in china which made me think that it was just another like another damn what's it called another yes style man i used to be a yes style ambassador until i realized it just really wasn't worth it it's it's the same fast fashion as like sheen or shein and all those other brands except they claim to be more accessible more like oh you're gonna get the best like korean um fashion and skincare and this 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 for good prices and it's like totally not us ripping you off and totally not us just feeding into the fast fashion but they definitely are emu oil feeds into fast fashion it's probably not actually based in the uk they might have an office there but they're probably doing all of their manufacturing in china for that low labor for those low prices that you're getting for the most part on their site a lot of the things they're just upping the price like it's from china but they are marking up the price like five times two or five times it just really really was not worth it they also said that the refund that i would get would only be partial which i had never heard before from any other clothing store that i shopped with it was always like either it won't be to your card or it'll be to a gift card or something else but never will only be able to give you a partial refund there was no reason given as to why i would only be getting a partial refund and then they just top it off and were like but we can give you a five dollar gift card to shop with us what am i gonna do with five dollars this pants was like 25 dollars. i don't even know how much the earring cuff was like that's not helping me in any way shape or form and i just found it really irritating that even after emailing them back after that they just really could not find any other way to give me back my money and i was like can we be so serious right now the shady return practices also reminded me a lot about fashion nova and other brands similar to fashion nova where they make it really hard for you to return anything and it, returning just doesn't seem worth it because you don't even get like your full money back but i don't know i think it definitely taught me not all of these brands are going to treat you the best and you sometimes you have to really search for these return policies beforehand to see what they actually say um i don't think i even ended up getting my money back i was really frustrated they'll send an email like oh this is really stylish we recommend instead that you give it away to somebody 
why do I have to give it away? If you're offering a refund, then I should be able to refund this. And I just hate these kind of shady return practices where it's not clearly stated what their policy is. And they're like, oh, actually, we don't want to give you your money back because, you know, we have to hold on to every dime we get. We know our quality is low quality. We know that we're not giving you the best clothing, but we need to hold on to any money that you do give to us. Um, I will never be shipping with shipping. I will never be shopping with Emmy Oil again. And I don't know, it's kind of disappointing that a lot of these brands tend to grab influencers really quickly and because they have the influencers you're like oh maybe this is a reputable brand but the clothing tends to just not be it they're just sending the best of what they have to these influencers and they're paying these influencers a lot to endorse their clothing brands when honestly the brand isn't even that good but that's part of what comes with influencer marketing not every influencer is going to be really dedicated to showing you what's real and what's actually high quality they're going to be dedicated to chasing the bag because it's their highest form of income and they need it to continue living but it does make it a little bit sad. Um, there are a lot of like brands that I would want to try out that I see on social media, but it's like, is this just another scam? Like, is it worth it? But I'm just trying to experiment and see if I can actually find at least one place that's actually legitimate and actually gives the clothes that they offer and that it's high quality and it'll last you. And you're like, yes, I can be a returning customer for you. And I think if you like watch my updates to the channel video when I mentioned like I'm slowly buying back clothing because I've been giving away a lot that doesn't fit or if it's damaged throwing it away or just trying to upgrade my closet and make it fit more of who I am. Part of that experimenting is trying out these new brands and it's really unfortunate if a brand is endorsed a lot and has a lot of followers and yada 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 that they probably buy. And it's just like this is not what I thought I would be getting. I thought I thought I would be getting much better and it's really disappointing to not get that but I just wanted to share a little bit of awareness and a little bit more about these situ or a little bit about the situation because if I can prevent someone else from shopping with Emmy Oil having a terrible customer experience then I'm gonna do that so I hope this video catches someone right before they were about to click checkout and on that Emmy Oil website and just save your money save your money try somebody else it is just truly not worth it